Today, we are going to visit a tea factory that is fully operational, where we will have the opportunity to learn about the process of plucking tea leaves, as well as participate in tea tasting. The scenery from this tea plantation is breathtaking. I am going to introduce the green leaf. This is the green leaf looks like. The two leaf and a bud is the required standard that goes for the export quality. The third and the fourth that goes for the local market area. Out of the third and the fourth leaf, 50% uh, that goes and join again with the export quality also. Over and above the two leaf, we have a small bud here. That is the one we call green tea, white tea, silver tea, gold tea, all in one and also all the antioxidant minerals you find in this small tip only so here in this factory we make only black tea for that one we are taking the whole leaf into our process okay white tea silver tea green tea and the gold tea we are not doing at the moment that will be done also once a month only i will explain to you how it does also for that one we have to cover up a large area many people have to employ and after spending six seven days in the field you won't be able to gather even a half a kilo why this one is very small very lightweight so as just have only three steps that is uh, just steam it and then roll it by hand and put it to the sun three days continuously two two hours and then in comes to the standard they stop and then place all that tea leaves in small packs and they sell it it's about 50,000 rupees a kilo very very expensive now there are about 125 female workers are working in the field. They start at 7 o'clock in the morning and then goes on picking and the very first weighing is done at 9 o'clock and the second weighing is done at 12 o'clock and the third one will happen around 4 o'clock in the evening. There are three women happening in the field site. When it's total together, each plucker will bring 20 kilos per day. Then only she will be qualified for one day salary that's about 1000 rupees when you convert to dollars it's about two and a half dollars very small so there are many ladies out there in the field they pluck more than the 20 the one they are bringing extra kilos that will be paid more money for them so now of these days they are bringing more 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 to the white of course so they are go for the more more plucking so one is rolling presses, there are about half an hour, every roller, half an hour, there are four roller sets, half an hour, half an hour it goes. And the next one is the fermentation, fermentation and oxidation, that has to be monitored very carefully, two and a half hours, you have to keep there to get the correct oxidation, and then when the, it comes to the standard, they stop and then send it to the mixer, that is the dry, within the 22 minutes, the wood will get dry, it will be top moisture there, so after that, that will go to the shifting side. Yeah, only you see And final result could be your black color without straw, stems and fiber and the powder. The powder type one is not at all good for human consumption. That goes as a recycle back to the field as a fertilizer. Now, if I'm the plucker, if I go today to the pluck, pluck field and pluck the Bush, not a string. 
this will grow up to 18 feet in height and allow them to grow fully. And uh, every five years time you have the full fully taking one and a half feet from the ground level and cut off all the top branches and again another three months later night shoots are coming out. Okay? And throughout the year we are plucking on in the month of June, July, August is the dry season for us. No single drop of rainfall we are going to receive or dry. So if you're going to purchase any tea around the world, look for the date of manufacture. June, July, August is the best tea. Quality tea that comes out. So one Mr. James Taylor arrived in 1852. So he was the one who started all these things. Uh, the island wide, like low growth, medium growth, high growth. This is high growth. So it's good. And during the daytime, eight hours time, they will get uh, what you call hot sunshine, no? To keep the eyesight and the forehead to keep cool. Tea pluckers wear a potu, also known as bindi, for cultural and religious reasons in many and South make, Asian uh, cultures. To concentrate on two leaf and a bud when you are doing the plucking. She will show you how to pluck and do exactly what in there. It is typically worn on the forehead and is considered a symbol of good fortune. Breaks and go. And all we must know the shortcuts. Yeah, yeah. Just uh, avoid the. One cup of tea first. <laughs> One cup of tea. Just keep eating. Testing. This is the bigger particles that gives you a very mild cup of tea. The particles are bigger. That, that is a very good area that comes from the first two, three. This area is very good, healthiest area, antioxidant area. That all come from these two parts, okay? It's a very mild cup of tea. If you want to add a little bit of milk, what you call honey or lemon, you can add here. Or else, without anything, you can just have it. Number three and the number four is the very stronger side. Yeah, of course, we have to add a little bit of milk and sugar, okay? Many Sri Lankans, British people, they like this area, okay? Earl Grey and the English morning breakfast tea, that come from this area, okay? Now I'm going to serve you the teas and after that you can decide which one, the cup you like, it, okay? Here we go. Number one. Two and uh, number two. One. Yeah. I see. 
feel the second cup which is stronger than number one. Okay, good. One and two. Just a bit. A little, huh? Yeah, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Here we go for the third, fourth one, it's much stronger. Little like so you. Yeah. So you almost all the four lines. Which one do you think that is your favorite cup of tea after the four? If you're going to select as your cup. If I were to definitely that one. Ah number three, I see very good yeah. also. Mm -hmm. You can take a nice photo out of this one. It looks very good. Thank you. And if you want to do any purchases out of these lines, we have placed all the teas in this section, in this set, one, two, three, four order. The factory shop has lovely views and a great variety of products. From loose teas to a variety of flavored teas. A perfect blend of nature and novelty. After the tour, you can sip a cup of your favorite tea overlooking the beautiful scenery. According to our guide's recommendation, the ideal time for the tour would be Tuesday mornings at 8 a.m. when the production is at its peak. The factory does not pick leaves on Sundays, which means that no tea production takes place on Mondays. However, the tour is still available on Mondays, providing an opportunity to observe all the aspects of the process, except for the leaf picking procedure. The whiteboard is used by management to communicate important information of individual worker performance, such as the quantity of leaves plucked or the quality of work done. This is helpful for them to keep track of their performance and get feedback.
I hope you found this tour enjoyable. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to this channel. Thank you.